This is like it is very uh, disheartening to the um, kind of aspirants like me to who who try aspire to become an uh, police officer. Um, so these these uh, this hampers like this uh, makes a crack in our dream to become an uh, police officer to work for uh, to serve for the country uh, with with very good aspirations and everything. Hey guys, hello and welcome to Media Mentor. This is the segment Knowledge is Power. In this segment, what I try to do is I try to bring up the issue with Parid. He joins me on this particular segment wherein he enlightens us, us with a lot of in-depth detail of a particular issue. So now today's topic is on Vikas Dubey's encounter. In news channel or the newspaper or online, you find out that Vikas Dubey, who was a gangster, was killed in a police encounter. So in short, I guess all of you know that what exactly happened in Vikas Dubey's case. But here the question we want to raise is, is this extrajudicial killing is okay? Is this encounter okay? I mean, it's not like wrong or right to do an encounter or no. Uh, I'm not against or for what happened, but it's just a concern question which is raised that, you know, when this encounter happens with such a big gangster. Now, in this case, it was very evident that it was planned uh, because the kind of stories which UP police was giving uh, was very vague. I mean, before Vikas Dube, six of his gang members have been encountered just with the similar story that they were trying to run away and in uh, in a conflict they have they have to you know do their encounter so this particular thing raises the issue about our law this particular issue raises the issue about how our system is working so guys let's let's get into the detail of encounter killing which is extrajudicial killing now today's topic is all about that. We'll be talking about what exactly happens in this. So hey, hi Pardi, how are you? Welcome to the show again. Knowledge is power. We are talking about awareness. Yeah, I'm doing good and uh, I'm collecting information and uh, doing research on this kind of uh, extrajudicial killings in the in this week. And uh, let us discuss about this thing. This extrajudicial killing, as you know, we know about one or two issues, and I'm sure that you will be information to share on extra judicial killing which is happening in our country so Pradi, please yeah yeah, yeah tell yes. me uh, with the term of extra judicial killing there are so much of reports on india like in entire of asia india is one of most prevalent country where the extra judicial killings are being very prevalent uh, you see the report of uh, a report which is being prepared by one of the international agency. It told it tells that uh, the uh, extrajudicial killings in India is very high. At the same time, between two years, that is 2017 and 2019, there were about 75 extrajudicial killings in the state of Uttar Pradesh alone. If we see that data, it, it, there might be a clarity and how where we were leading to. What concern this rises is that this shows the hegemony of the police department and this is this is like uh, the uh, entire government and other department are trying to use police as their watchdogs and can control take control over the state using the police power and also not only killing uh, you see even in this Vikas Dube case the, the police department and the officials have demolished his mansion and his vehicles even before he yeah. uh, before his encounter and we are no way supporting the criminals like Vikas Dube but thing is that the power which is being controlled or being taken over by one single department uh, in a very big gover governance entity that that gives a very concern as an, as being in uh, in a point of a social activist so that we need to quote and other thing is that the encounter fake encounter killings are very not new in it, when there is some sensational case definitely we can expect a encounter killing within a week or within within a month or so for example a full moon, a person called full moon dar who was in meghalaya his killing was once prevalent See, uh, there were there were no enquiries, no investigations were carried on. Even those carried on, it was not continued so far. And the other case was in 2019. We all know that the the gang rape case uh, which happened in uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, for that also, yeah. within a week or so, there was an encounter killing. 
and these encounters are being prevalent fake that that was also called fake encounters apart from fake encounters we can call it call it as extra judicial killings since the police power is taking a rising uh, the it's rising so we can see there's a lot of imbalance right as a democratic country you know there are four pillars when we talk about like the three main pillars which is a judiciary uh then comes you know executive powers and legislature but here we can see yes definitely there's lot of political control and we all know that police comes under this political leaders only as vikas dubey's case if highlight on the thing is he was allowed to become such a big goon like you know uh because all the connections was like with all the political parties you talk about sp bsp bjp was the biggest uh, connection uh, with uh, vikas dubey all his uh, previous records was that clearly so what was police doing so far that raises a question that why they allow such uh, you know small criminals to become such a big criminal with all the support like in in in, the, in india these people are being backbone to most of the political parties and these people become the yeah. muscle power of an any political party when there is an rift in the nexus between political and criminal um, people so then they execute yeah. the people like uh, like them and they, the government and the police officers who involved try to get a reward and get you know these these police officers or the people who involved in such kind of killings they were uh, they were like worship like heroes like they were given titles yeah. like uh, encounter raja or uh, yeah. you know in in that way yeah, exactly. kings of encounter and so on so there is no the, the, see when something happening like this the sensation once the sensation is everything is a put off then no every people will be uh, concerned about other different issues and they are not correlated with uh, not digging deeper into this kind of uh, issues and the background of these kind of issues so that is one particular problem and the trial the time of trial taken and um, investigation taken and the change of the officers who are involved in any kind of investigation those are being a very biggest problem in india there is no particular system to monitor a particular case is being proceeded uh, and uh, what justice it is going to deliver even there are so much cases even before independence cases were still pending in the uh, supreme court and even there is a fact that about all about 1 crore cases are pending in india under the supreme court and the high co- high courts so so we should, yeah this is the uh, this is the this shows the entire failure of bureaucracy and to fill the gap to yeah. to address that issue some sensational uh, things like extra judicial killings have come to place and again we are insisting what is that this is not this is not going to happen to the criminal alone what fears me what concerns me is that if it is possible in in a country in a democratic country like india it can even happen to an innocent people that really concerns me article 21 20 and uh, that is like uh, 14 which says that uh, equality before law and equal protection of law and um, and the article 20 even says that uh, no punishment should be given higher than the uh, crime or uh, the the uh, violation of law that has yeah, exactly law. you know all those articles but i think in vikas dubey's case all the articles have been sidelined as you as you mentioned no, n- not not only in vikas dubey's case wherever extra judicial killings are happening in the nation uh, they, they, these uh, laws are being sidelined the fundamental exactly. these and actually these are the fundamental rights given by the indian constitution to any citizen in india but every all these rights were violated uh, by, by, by just by in one single department that is the highlight of indian democracy exactly like one single department but uh, you know for the one thing i was just uh, going through and uh, as a solution approach when we talk about yes we all are concerned with the whole thing that you know when we talk about such kind of uh, act happening in our country yes we all are concerned as a citizen of the country but on the second front like if you look at the other side of the story like uh, you know when you look at the data there's lot of data which says that uh, says that 40% of the police officers you know the seats in the police department is empty like our whole country functioning only on the 60% or say 50% of the manpower of the police people and uh, in that also we have half of them are paid less and they're working more than 18 hours so do you think this is one of the major factor that police uh, department gets into this act 
of uh, you know taking money and becoming a part of the crime whether it's a politician or a big businessman or anything because first yeah, thing definitely is, definitely like what i would say is that that is an issue definitely we need to address that issue and thing is that yeah. who who have the authority to fill that seats it is it goes to that authority is with the government actually the authority is with the government the the entire opposite is also happening who gives that full authority to the police it is also the government see the government is not is so it is the government is not not filling the vacancies or it is not giving the uh, decision making capability to the police department then and there while the crime is happening the same government yeah. is giving power authority to one single department to take control and violate every uh, every single law which is being which is being placed in our country and the even it the that authoritative government even gives power to and despotic police department to violate fundamental rights it this this is this is happening in india so and the, 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 we i am not blaming the police department i am just asking the question who gives power to that police department should say is to to get concluded to the part there are so much of uh, you know recommendations by a uh, uh, few of the uh, justice uh, justice and even supreme court has given uh, in a case uh, which happened between uh, state of uh, maharashtra in 2004 supreme court given 14 point guidelines to follow uh, and uh, that is that is, that guidelines has been forwarded to N- uh, nhrc national uh, human rights commission the problem here is who yeah. monitors this these things that That even that body is a failure. There, there is the the it is it is toothless body. The NHRC, state state human rights commission, both are toothless. And uh, when when there is no more particular monitoring co- committee or which the committee to take forward these things, well, there there is there is a big lacuna. Yes, what we are point going uh, trying to point out here is that. i uh, please don't uh, we the other things every other person and this, this the sensation is talking just about the cover up story how vikas dubey killed how vikas dubey got caught got caught and what was his background and everything the problem the prime the prime problem is not with the and few people few human right activists and uh, other social activists are uh, just blaming the police department alone the problem not stops here if you go and discuss with the police officers see uh, this is like uh, it is very uh, disheartening to the um, uh, kind of aspirants like me to who who try aspire to become an Uh, police officer um say so these these uh, this hampers like this uh, makes a crack in our dream to become an, a police officer to work for uh, to serve for the country uh, with with very good aspirations and everything so thing is that it is not only with one single department the entire government machinery is like it is uh, it is working in this way it is having a so much of political um, criminal nexus and there is a lack in judiciary there is lack in bureaucracy and and so much is going on and the entire issue should not be missed out and we are just raising questions and we are not the persons to give the right solution here and we are trying to make the questions and make citizens aware that the, we are just making the question and you try out the answers for it and if you feel if we have missed some points and you few have right solutions for these thing happening please write in in the comment comment box not and particularly again we are not against any political party over here and, and we are not any any party, party in in power in short But thing is that entire governance system of whosoever is in the power, nobody have tried to correct this. Even when Congress was ruling, they never fixed up this issue. That time also the court cases were pending in our, you know, uh, in our country. So people are just blaming Adi's government, and this this is like uh, not only him. Even before Mayawati's government or other Mulayam Singh Yadav's government, they even uh, did did this thing, and the the, the fake encounter was not so prevalent like in this government. but thing is that uh, the the political criminal nexus was uh, top ruling in the entire you know the entire uttar pradesh and resource rich areas like bihar jharkhand ranchi and uh, sorry uh, chatisgarh and meghalaya and so on so yes guys as you saw we both were discussing about that vikas dubey's encounter was not the only issue it is the bigger issue it is about the system is not in place it's about why the police department is working on 60% of the manpower it's why the judicial system i mean judges are not been appointed if if police officers are not getting their money they will uh, you know get into this crime thing why because all of us need a lifestyle as we have seen in this these things in movies nothing is hidden we all know how our society is right now 
so the question is to the government the question is not about bjp government or the congress government or any government it's about the government in power what they are doing to fix up these issues and when we talk about extra judicial killing the concern as a citizen is can it happen to any of us because there have been cases in the past where sting operation done by the media houses wherein they actually went ahead and asked a police officer to do a fake encounter and for just rupees 8 lakhs the police officer agreed to do a fake encounter so don't you think so it raises a concern over the issue that is that is really a threat to the society and we should get this three four pillars in its place and back to a democratic society like all the four four pillars should function should do their role like media is not asking the valid question not raising the concerns judiciary is not able to do function properly police department is being empowered sometime to do something which is not to be done and sometime they are just just being transferred because they are not taking orders so why only one particular department is running the whole show so we have to understand this and we have to bring in a change towards this hey guys if you think that we are trying to do a value addition to a particular news and trying to raise a raise a question which is very important please do support us by subscribing our channel do like share and subscribe so that we can make such videos and reach out to the maximum people like you guys which or who are concerned for our country our society and want to bring in a change be the part of a change and yes indeed we believe in knowledge is power see you next week thanks for watching yeah please subscribe to the channel and please press the bell icon